Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios uh, photograph for today. Uh, winter escape here in one of the streets in Orangeville. Hello, check my website for more artworks and photographs at ilmaarts.com. That's I L M A A R T S dot com. Today, I'd like to share with you a poem devotional which is extracted from. Um, 1 Timothy 4 verse 12, it says, Be an example to all believers in what you say, in what you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. And here's my poem. Exemplary life. Are you living your new life as Jesus did? Are you exuding love in all your deeds? Be an example to all believers by your faith. Be a witness to Christ. It can change their faith. Do you speak the truth by declaring God's word? Store it in your hearts and use it like a sword. Keep your hearts pure and walk in love. It brings glory and it magnifies God. <clears throat> um... I'm just gonna get something because I'm so excuse me all right so here's my essay in a challenging oh, I'm sorry it is challenging to go through our lives without um, having someone to emulate or follow that is why the Bible tells us to to be with other believers fellowship with other believers because isolation is not an option in the Christian walk. Proverbs 18, 1 to 2 says that. Uh, we were all made to be in loving relationships. The Bible tells us to live exemplary lives. What we say, how we live, how we love, how much we believe, and how pure we keep our hearts for Jesus affect all who come in contact with us. We can create confusion and, mag, uh, and, and misguide other believers if we don't live what we believe or what we say. We open doors to the enemy when we live a life lacking integrity. Lord, let me follow your life. Reflection. Why is integrity essential in our walk as believers? I think I'd like to answer that um, question because um, so many people have left uh, churches and uh, be part of a congregation because of so much hypo hypocrisy in, in, you know, in the church. And it is sad to see that a lot of people you know, you could go to all the Bible studies you want. You could go to church every Sunday and yet not walk in love. When you don't forgive, you're not walking in love. When you um, do something to hurt somebody, you're not walking in love. When you're not forgiving someone, that you're not walking in love. And all the commandments of God is based on loving. Because we were made to be loved. Because God is love. When we do not have integrity in our lives, people, we're actually, as Christians, if we, if we declare ourselves to be uh, God's people, then we have to live like Him because that's what He says in the Bible. We have to follow Jesus. And if we don't follow the way He lived His life, then... Um, people think we're fraud and I think there's a lot of um, uh, unbelief when pe what, what people get to be discouraged when they see other Christians who are not living up to their faith and in James it says that we cannot just be hearers of the word but we should be doing the word of God doers of the word because faith alone will not, without, without um, good deeds or good works, is, is, will not help you mature as a, as a Christian. 
So faith coupled with good deeds is good. So in other words, if we say, if what comes out of our mouth, if we're Christians and what comes out of our mouth are curses and everything that is worldly, then you're going to get other people, other uh, either believers and unbelievers confused because you're not actually walking your talk. And um, if, you know, we have compartmentalized lives where we, let's say, we have a, we have a job and then at night we do something else that is against what the Bible says and we're compartmentalizing our lives and because Jesus when when we accept Jesus in our lives we accept him in all parts of our lives not just one part of our life it's not about religion it's about giving ourselves our whole self to God or to Jesus because Jesus came here to save us from sin so um, I am challenging you to take a look at your life and see if you're living exemplary life um, and how would you know that by looking at how Jesus lived. I remember watching a movie about WWJD which means what would Jesus do. So if you're doing something, if you're saying something, if you are doing something that Jesus would not do, then don't do it. So thanks for watching and I hope that you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs and have a blessed Christmas and I hope that um, you have joy this season of love because that's what, what Jesus wants to give us, to give us joy and free us from um, sin, worry, you know, all kinds of things that are worldly. Have a wonderful, wonderful and blessed Christmas.